Hi, my name is Marion Golden, and I'm from Virginia. But, and um, I came to Dr. Rutledge. It took me about a year and a half to finally make the commitment to come here and have surgery, which I thought was a pretty drastic measure, so I salute all of you who are here. This is not an easy thing to decide to do. Um, surgery went extremely well for me. The biggest pain I had was my throat hurt. Um, I was walking the hall pretty quickly. I had seven feet bypassed in 40 minutes. And um, the only, then when I went home, when we were leaving on, on uh, Thursday, I developed that pain on my left side. Right. And that became, that increased and increased to the point that, <clears throat> excuse me, I called Dr. Rutledge Friday morning. I was descended like a Biafran refugee. And I thought I was pushing out the staples. So I went to the emergency room. Um, and you do know you have no medication post-surgery, nothing in terms of pain control. So it's two days out of major surgery. You're in pain, you can't take anything, so um, it was an interesting experience. I would say when you read in the manual or you read on the website when people say, I'm up and shopping in a mall in two days, somebody might be, but then it's like Kim or Alan and me, you're not. And that kind of raised my stress level. When you look at all of the testimonials and they say, shopping the next day, dancing, doing all this stuff, you may not. You may be like us. I was wiped out until um, probably Saturday night when when Patty came. Uh, yesterday was a turnaround day for me, and today I'm in makeup, so when I go back to makeup, it's a good day. <laughs> it's a good day. Um, I will say that uh, I was taking 14 pills prior to surgery. I'm on two pills a day now. Yay. Thank you. And then I'm going to, and then the supplements, of course, are pills, but not the same thing. I was on 14, I was on seven medications with uh, you know, 14 pills a day. Um, I've lost seven pounds. Since last Not week, it's all water. It's all water. Um, I'm not hungry. Um, it's even hard. It's, it's incredible to believe. Like a, a one six-ounce yogurt will be a whole day's worth of food. Um, a can of soup is two to uh, two to three almost days of food, and uh, the crackers are a little hard to get down. And then also your chain, your taste will shift. Um, when we were in the hospital, the V8 was like, great, I love, can't have, can't have enough V8, you know, well, that's having enough V8 for a mm -hmm. couple of hours. And then yesterday I had V8 and was like, I can barely get this down, <laughs> barely do this. So um, that type, that's what happens. Uh, I do think, and I'm going to give you a, a real compliment, it's like a revival, you know, when you go in and somebody smacks you and you're healed. Mm -hmm. This takes a little longer, it's a little longer revival, but um, I think it's a remarkable thing that he does. And, so you have, I would say, just listening to you, your recovery is a little rougher than some of the things we hear on the internet about, like you said. Right. Uh -huh. And I think that uh, we need to recognize that not everybody just goes through pain free. And I think that's what we hear from Ken right. and, I think and Alan. And I, I think that it's a very important point to bring up because some people expect that every single person is going to just fly through this. Mm -hmm. The flip side, though, I wanted to bring up, if I could, is one of the reasons you said that you traveled all the way out here is you had a friend who who died from surgery who the ruin I think it was the ruin Y right. in Virginia and so I couldn't I wouldn't go to anybody in Virginia because I wasn't going to go and ask them if they killed somebody. Um, but so, <laughs> well, and that brings up the issue that what we're talking about today are these really unfortunate complications of having these aches and pains after mm -hmm. surgery, and we don't want to minimize them. We're disappointed that you have those aches and pains. Mm -hmm. But when you have the list of complications that you can choose after your surgery, you know, like going to the Chinese restaurant, right. there's column A complications, and it's death, abscess, infection, bleeding, mm -hmm. uh, breathing problems, intensive care, things like that, and then aches and pains after surgery, I always choose column B. Right. Oh, I would definitely, but you know, it's the pain on the left side that I had right away, that's really a kicker. And I think my stress level was up based on the fact that my friend had passed away. Sure. And I also think um, if we had seen on the website, if you had people who, like a balance that say, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm not dancing on a pin, get well, us that's on the, the thing. website. If, if you may, I'm going to ask your permission to I'll put these tapes up there. I think, that would, be, I think that, that would be great. Yeah. And I think I would have been calmer through the process if I knew, well, day five, you're going to feel a lot better. Because every time I called you, I had a list of, you know, two or three questions thinking, this is it, I'm terminal, this is it. But, you know, I'm unusual. <laughs> I called him one day. One day I said, you know, my husband and I said to him, I think I'm exsanguinating. I didn't have a drop of blood come out of me, but I figured any minute I'm exsanguinating. And then I called him, I said, bowel blockage. I'm a 
said, you'll be the first patient at a 3,700 patients who would have a bowel blockage. But you know, you never, you never know. So I think it's good to hear that, well, it's six days post-surgery, and I'm going to Vegas. So it's, uh, it's and good. There, and I think that's why we appreciate your kindness and being willing to be taped, and because and, we do want to put these kinds of videos up where people can hear about mm -hmm. the fact that you can have some bumps after the surgery. So mm -hmm. thank you. And I had no, my stitches are fine. My staples good. didn't actually come out. Good. Yeah. <laughs> bleeding. Good. So. Um, questions that we can ask her today? All right. Um, well, we're going to hold off. We'll do okay. our interview with uh, Ms. Helbing, if that's okay. okay. And then we will... Um, oh, yeah, thanks. Turn these off for a second.